I get to do my little victory dance every time that I'm able to push play and follow through. Hi, my name is Michelle Parsons Vargas. I am here again today on TikTok to teach tempo training. Now today, wearing my booty britches, I don't think it's doing too much for me. What do you think? Uh, these look so much better on other people who already have booties. I don't have a booty. I'm German, French, Irish, and English. Not one of those is known for having a booty. So I gotta get the booty britches. But I thought it might actually be a little bit more supportive when I'm doing squats or whatnot. So this little science experiment we're gonna put on today. So yes, I do tempo training here on TikTok. I think I'm one of the only people who does tempo training on TikTok, if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty cool. Tempo training is when you take your exercises and you sequence them to either a two count, four count, or eight count tempo rhythmic beat. And then you perform that exercise over a duration of time. The internet tried being really cute and saying, oh, this is tension under time. This is tension over time. It's tempo, y'all. It's still tempo. The most common tempo beat in all of aerobics and all of tempo is two count. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Get it? Two count. There's other tempo beats there, though, that can be used for the exercises to make them more or less intense. For example, four count. One, two, three, four. 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 Now, doing this doesn't seem like it would be very challenging at all. But that's what makes tempo awesome, because tempo works with time, not distance. So the longer you do this, guess what? The more you're gonna start to burn. And we're talking a burning sensation to which you have never fucking felt before in your life. Like somebody literally stabbing you with a hot poker into your muscle fibers. So be careful. If it gets too intense, stop. You can just stop and it will stop. But if you wanna go harder, do tempo with weights. Yes! Ugh. Level two all the way. But if you want to do it body weight, no equipment, you can. All right. So I'm going to go into my workout once I get everything properly set up. Because it wouldn't be one of my shows unless something was screwing up like it always does. But that's okay. I tell chaos to come on. We can dance. So. Do, 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 do. No, I don't know if I'm a fan of booty britches. Do any of you own these? The booty britches, the ones that make your butt look better. How do you like these? I don't know if I'm liking these very much. I miss my shorts already. I'm very honest. That's why nobody wants me to promote their products because I'll tell them, look, if your product sucks, I'm going to not only tell you it sucks, I'm going to tell everyone else that it sucks too. So nobody wants to give me their products. <laughs> That's okay though. For those who are brave, good for you. I'm like a Simon Cowell of products. I do not play nice. So... I'm a hardcore consumer, so yeah, I take my, my stuff seriously. So what I'm looking for is the high intensity. Not that. Hmm. What are some musics? What are some songs, different types of music that you all like to listen to when you work out? Or are you like Team Arnold where you cannot stand listening to music and if you do are like Team Arnold, I would recommend a metronome to do tempo too. Arnold Schwarzenegger cannot stand listening to music while he works out. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, cannot stand not listening to music while he works out. So we have a war there. Ooh. What I have found out in my research is that it depends on your preference. It, I have had clients respond to a metronome a lot better than they responded to music. Music is very confusing to them. Not that they don't like it, but not that they can't, they can't follow it. Of course they can, but um, there's the song. Where is my... So, give it a shot. Try both of them. Try using it with music, doing tempo with music. Try doing tempo with a metronome. See which one your body and brain respond to better because it's just like being left-handed or right-handed. You, you don't really have a choice. Your brain is going to respond better to things whether you want to or not, whether you like it or not, right? Okay, so now we're going to start out three and a half minute stretch. 
No biggie. I do all the basic ones. I don't do anything funny or anything like that. And remember, tempo is not super entertaining to watch. It is super entertaining to do. So get up off your asses. Yes, if you've ever wanted to do tempo. I like to do fluid stretching. So that's when you just pretty much let your body just go. Lengthening the core, 
not sucking it in, you're lengthening it. All right, here we go. If you are tall, this is automatically going to be harder for you. Sorry.
Okay, so what I could count, 352. Or 300, and, yeah, 352. Woo! Now, time for the core. Let's count the core. Start at five, three, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so I'm counting. We're counting. Woo! Core crunches. So this is an upper body movement. Keep your legs together, squeeze your butt cheeks together if you can't stop shaking it. It's like having training wheels on. And then when you can control your ass, you can start moving your legs. Because you're not gonna hurt your back. But if you keep shaking your butt, you're gonna hurt your back. It is not easy getting on TikTok doing tempo wearing these pants. We're doing it. Oh, I want to give 
up. How your progress is. How do you glow in your pictures? You're glowing. I hope you feel like you're glowing too. Beautiful people. All right, we're well over 600. Boom, 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 boom. This is why I say Spaceman DCC Challenge. I'm not gonna tell you until it's at the very end how many I did. I'll reveal my, my number at the end. Just keeping it flowing, keeping it going. Seven hundred and eighty, y'all. Seven hundred and eighty rocks. Boom! Woo! -hoo. It's exciting. Oh, this one's not though. Oh, I know what I'm going first. So, warm up. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Do you remember this from the other day? So we're just gonna do bilateral shoulder presses. So, if for some reason you cannot go overhead, go transverse plane. Or lower anterior. This is the lowest impact. So, this would be your level one. Level two. Level three. And then next level is with weights. One and two, one and two, one and two. Try to get that speed up there. Try to get that speed there. Boom, 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 boom. I would rather see 10 precise hits than 50 almost hits. The more precise you are in tempo, the more it will work for you, I guarantee it. Woo! You can do the simplest little movements and have them kick your ass without risking an injury, wear and tear, unnecessary wear and tear. So I'm switching down to that level two. And anytime, anytime, pick up weights. body movement to another, you don't have to ask permission, you don't have to be told. It's called range of motion, y'all. Use it. Use it. Got my triceps pretty good. So I'm gonna stay right here. That's an area I need to work anyway. So I'm gonna try my hardest not to switch up my move. Don't change my positioning. Tempo 
upper body. One, two, one, two, one, two. Morph right into different moves. Let it just flow. Let it flow, let it go, yo, okay? Mm. Woo! That right shoulder line. Right shoulder. I will get to my comments, questions towards the end of the workout, only because super intense right now. Woo! Thank you for those little hearts. For those little gifts, they are so encouraging. Because I'll be like, oh, I just want to pass out. And then I see it, I'm like, yes, yes, keep going. It's weird what motivates us, right? Doesn't make it any easier. We're just pulling it down. So come forward. And then go down. Boom. Down. We don't need any spasms or anything like that in the legs and the arms. Don't need any, don't need any weirdness. I'm already weird enough. Done. Moving on. Staying strong. What's our next one? So, switch game. You've never played the switch game with me before. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Flex. All right. <laughs> David, what do you think? Booty pants. Yeah, your name. I feel like you'd be a very honest person. So, switch game. I just taught you all the moves to the switch game. You didn't even realize it. So, upper body, core, or legs. I say legs. This is what I mean. Solid. When I say core, we're doing a standing crunch. Core. 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 This is a two count. You can do it a count if you want. If I say arms. 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 Put them up. 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 Cool. So all I'm going to do throughout this entire song is say core, legs, arms, core, arms, legs, whatever the hell I want. Cool? Get ready. Four, eight, count. Two and one and two. One and two and one and two and one and two. Legs up, 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 arms up, arms up. Get it? So this song is six minutes and forty six seconds long. Legs. Now just to trip you up, right when you get comfortable, I'll start saying four count plates, two count plates. We're gonna kick it up a notch. It went from follow the leader to polykinetics tempo follow the leader. Arms up, arms up. So we're staying at a standard two count with exception of core. Legs. Two, count. Arms, two, count. Two, one, two. Remember for count what that looks like. Two, one, two. So this is just generally to keep us going, but bring down legs up. This is just to keep the blood everything going, but bring the heart rate down a little bit. 
four. Remember, four is in the eight count, not two, but if you need to do two, go for it. One, two. There's the break. So let me give a demonstration of how effing annoying it is when people constantly switch up the moves on you. Legs up, up. A little science experiment in real time on how easily it is to probably frustrate you and annoy you. Arms. Four. Arms. Four. Arms. Isn't that annoying? Legs up. Four. Arms. We're not, not feeling the, the burn. Not feeling the burn in the same way, are we? Versus if we stay with one area of the body at a time. Four. Why are people just, I don't know, but legs. Don't get me wrong, sweating a little bit, sweating a little bit, but no burn, no build. This is testing my patience, arms. I'm leading and it's annoying. Four. Arms. Four. Now, Grant, we do have a couple of minutes left in this butt. Legs up. Boom. It's just like Einstein said, it's not that I'm any smarter. I just stay with problems longer. And that's all that tempo does, is stay with the problem a little longer. Arms. So we'll finish out the switch game, but now you see why. And hopefully you understand why I do singular moves to my music. Each individual song is a sequence. More than a song. It's a workout sequence. And then you put sequences together to make a program based on your wants, your needs, your desires. I want it upper body definition. Want it to be full body tone and tightened. Lose more than 100 pounds. Four, two, count. One, two, one, two. So yes, you keep changing up the moves between lower body, upper body, and core within the same sequence. You're still gonna get benefits, but you're easily agitated. It can become more frustrating than anything, like me talking all the way through things, right? Woo! So what we're actually going to do now, that was kind of like our cool down, but now there's a few extra ones I wanted to hit on. I wanted to do the tempo Cupid shuffle. Mm -hmm. It's quickly becoming my favorite. And I, I never did the actual Cupid shuffle. <gasps> oh, I know which one I'm doing next though. Cha-cha slide. I don't know how to do the wobble. Can somebody, I'm gonna Google that today just so I can make a new dance to it. I like making those little dances. I made one for come on ride the train. The first one my mom ever taught me was the electric slide. No, 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 Back that up. That was my second. The first dance she ever taught me was the time warp um, by Rocky Horror Picture Show. Let's do the time warp again. Yeah, that's how far back I go. So um, that was the first dance I learned, and the second one was the electric slide. But um, I like going back and re redoing these old dances. So let's do this called Cupid Shuffle Tempo Style Way, okay? Super simple. And this is in honor of Rebecca and her progresses. Three moves, that's it. One, two, 
one, two, one, two, one, two. Lay up, lay up, lay up, lay up. Four crunch, four crunch, four crunch, four crunch. They say I'm a rapper, and I say no. You say what you're doing, trying to do somebody go. I just let the music come from my soul, so all of my people can stay on the floor. They got a brand new dance, you gotta move your muscle. That's okay. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. Worried Muffin. Oh, you're so cute with these names, y'all. Thank you so much for your follows, your loves, your likes, and hanging out with me. 42 of you. 43 counting myself. That is nice. That is super nice. Especially, what is today? Is today Monday? Okay, especially on Monday. <laughs> so I do this every single solitary day. I still have about 15 or so pounds in my own journey, and I'll be documenting my skin removal surgery, too. So first things first. Gotta get this down for the surgeons. <laughs> but this is what's left. Feels like bread dough. But look, I can make it smile. Happy belly, happy belly, because I have an insanely healthy diet. Um, it's boring, but it's healthy. So, thank you everybody for joining in with me. Uh, la 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 la, I wanted to do the Tempo Keep a Shuffle. Was there anything else that I wanted to hit on? We are at 40 minutes in, which is good for time. I try not to surpass an hour at a time. Not because I can't, but because I can and my ego will get me hurt. Your ego is not your friend in tempo. Tell your ego to fuck off, you're busy. Um, your ego will tell you this is too simple, this is dumb, 
there's no way this will work because my ego said the same thing and I literally told my ego shut the fuck up I'm busy because I couldn't deny what I felt but besides what my brain was trying to tell me I couldn't deny this is I'm feeling this I'm feeling this though so like my bullshit belief is actually bullshit this actually will work and I've been doing it now for nine and a half years yeah, long time. And everyone's like, why aren't you big and ripped? Well, that's not my goal, for one. And I do suffer with other things that are mentally based that eh, fluctuate my weight. So I go through relapses sometimes. But I use PK Tempo to pull me out every single time. So it's an incredible tool, physically and mentally. Woo! <laughs> Good morning, Linda. Oh, there's that wonderful, wonderful human being. I feel such at ease when I... When I, when I see y'all that I recognize from day in, day in, day in, and it's just like somebody, like a good friend coming in. Yes. Right now it's not coffee. Coffee's after this one, but great reminder to drink a nice little drink of water. Let's not get dehydrated while we're doing tempo. Mm-mm. Nope. Just enough to moisten the mouth. You know, curve the parchment. The parchment. Oh, can't even speak anymore. Oh! I got to build up my endurance for my TED Talk. I want to be able to do a workout and speak properly all the way through my, my presentation. So I'm practicing actually for my TED Talk. I have no idea when that will be, but I can do a serious TED Talk on tempo. And it even flows in the title, TED Talk on tempo training. TED Talk on tempo training. Let's all speak it into existence. Let's make this happen. Um, super fun. But if we have any questions, comments, concerns, I'm loving your workouts. Thank you so much. Who said that? I got to put my glasses on. Y'all are... Sandy, thank you so much, Sandy. I appreciate that. I love that you love these. And everyone asks me, where do I start? Start with any of them. I have been doing the same basic looking beginner workouts for nine and a half years. They're still kicking my butt. Everyone thinks you have to advance super quick. You do that too quickly, you're gonna get hurt. And then you're gonna end up in my class anyway. A lot of my past clients are people of who have gotten injured in other styles. Um, and cannot do other things out there. Even yoga is difficult for them. Um, so for one reason or another, finally, we have other choices. We have tempo, opposites of sets and reps. So if you don't like sets and reps, you don't like yoga, you don't like the whole, yeah, 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 let's go. And I'm like, okay, tone it down. We call that mania in, in the bipolar world. We call it mania, bring it down a bit. Don't want to go into mania. That's not a good thing for us. But it's a balance of the high and the lows. And I think that's the beauty of tempo. You can use it with fast songs. You can use it with slow songs. Going slow is just as hard as going fast. Going fast is hard as going slow. Use it with weights, without weights. It literally is the most universal thing I could ever figure out. So, and I've been doing it now every single day for, I think we're going on second month. Second month, every single day for second month. I know some people have been with me for 48, 49, 50 days. So that tells me at least, I've gone live at least 50 days, and that's cool. I want to go live as much as I can, bring tempo to as many people as possible. I just started, and I feel it in my abs, right? See, thank you. Thank you. You'll feel it from the very first start, from the, the first one, y'all. I'm not joking. This isn't a delayed reaction. This is an instant reaction. This is what got me addicted. Person who hates working out. Person who absolutely cannot stand the fitness industry at all. They can't stand me. I can't stand them. It's a very mutual, we don't like each other. But... Exercise is super important. I just did not want to go through all of the bullshit, the redundancy, and all the scams. So I was like, nope, 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 done. For 30 years, I went through that crap. Now I teach tempo for free on TikTok. No more frustrations. No more barriers. Even people have said that money is an issue for them. Jump on with me. All of my workouts are very beginner-based. Again, I don't want to do more than I have to. So I will not be advancing to some of the crazy crap you see on the internet. I like staying in my realm, in my lane, which is the land of simplicity. To me, simplicity is the ultimate in sophistication. So the more complex it gets, just like Schumacher said, any intelligent fool can make things bigger and more complex. It takes a touch of genius and a lot of courage to move in the opposite direction. Simplify, 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 simplify. Don't minimize your effort, but you simplify the process and you magnify the results. And that's tempo. And yes, ugh, love it. So, want to do another one? Let's do another one. There's over 50 people. I always say if there's more than 50 people, I'm going to do another one. Let's do funny songs. 
These are funny songs. These are songs that you want to do the um, the VCC Macarena, the Tempo Macarena. We can do the Tempo Macarena. Let's do that. It's core Crunch. Yes. Super simple. Super simple. The core crunching in four directions. One, two, three, four. Side one, two, three, four. Other side, two, three, four. Back, four, back, turn. Just leaning. Lean, hit, 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 back, forward, back, forward. This is an eight count. For some reason, if the eight count is too much, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So, don't let the eight count scare you. Take it nice and easy. I'll have to count the reps on this one. I'm curious now. I'm just going to BCC it out. If you want to keep doing the dance pattern, the rhythmic pattern, go for it. But that is the tempo Macarena dance. Come join me, dance with me, and all you friends will stand along with me. I want to see this at every wedding. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's Eye of the Tiger. Oh, Miss Gina is talking about that. She's like, play Eye of the Tiger yesterday. I'm like, girl, I'm sorry. That's in my black box of hell no songs. I have a box full of songs I won't touch. And that's one of them. Only because of my martial arts background. And we did nothing but work out, demonstrate, do testings and all kinds of shit to that song. 50 million times over. So unfortunately, Eye of the Tiger is, is, a, is in a no-no. 
Um, <laughs> you can, you can do it to any song. There have been, there are, there are tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of songs I've never done tempo to. That's why I get excited about new music. I'm like, yes, I feel cracking in my lower back and popping in my legs doing the leg lifts. So if you're feeling the popping, bring your knees in closer, bring your height lower. So make sure if you're doing this and not realizing it, pop, 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 pop. Bring your knees in closer, it's as close as you can, and keep them nice and low. So if you are having problems doing that, lean slightly forward, hold on to something if you must. I held on to a countertop, to the side of my countertop for a year. That's how bad I was for almost a year I hang on, I held on to something. It was, I think it was more psychological than anything, but eventually I let go. But for a whole year, I held on to something. And boom, 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 boom. It's still gonna hit you, it's still gonna hit you. Even if you're holding on to something, it's still gonna hit you to stay on the beat and stay with that, and you're gonna feel that birdie. And hopefully no more popping. When it comes to your back, if you are doing the core crunch, two things could be happening. One, the tempo is too fast, so come bring it back to a two count instead of that bounce eight count. Or you're unknowingly and unsuspectingly doing this. Anyone doing this? That's called a counter mutation, a counter mutation, and that is incorrect. That will absolutely pain right there right in the sciatica right in the sciatica it hurts my sciatica just showing people what a counter mutation is upper body and again if you can only lift it a couple inches that's all you need that's it hold your girls up if they're super heavy boom Just drop it, I promise, hopefully. But if you are experiencing also any cramping, take a break, take a little stretch, take a little breather, let it pass, and then now you know your threshold. So that was a great one, unfortunately. I'm so sorry you're feeling that. Um, <laughs> let me have this to help me. Yep, that's a great way to mess up your back. Yeah, the counter mutation really does suck. Thank you for those 37 roses, my goodness gracious. The counter mutation. This is what's, okay, this was my move. This is what went viral on today's show for the 80 pound Asian lady, 90 pound Asian lady doing this. And then you got one person who did it incorrectly. She actually was doing a standing crunch, but she credited the Asian woman saying she was right. And I was like, no, it's a counter mutation that's incorrect in a BCC in a standing crunch. Nope, sorry, wrong, but it is wrong. So it will, t it will absolutely get you hurt. If you are a professional dancer of sorts, you're probably inclined to do that kind of thing, but the rest of us are not professional dancers, I don't assume. I am a black belt, I'm not a ballerina. Um, that should have said girls. <laughs> I see the difference, yes, okay, right. So the difference between the counter mutation and the standing crunch. This will, will hit your back, but it'll hit up here, right in here not down here protect this at all costs toning this the fuck up as much as you can see yes um and that will help keep your upper body upright someone told me they're like you can work your core until you turn blue if you don't work that back you're not going to get the posture you're looking for and i was like ooh, okay so i started working my back and they were absolutely 100 percent right yep because I've been working my core, but I was kind of stuck like this for a little bit. And I was like, what the hell? And they're like, work your back more. You're, you're working your core great, but you're not. And they're right. I've come here, but not come back here. So bringing your elbows backwards past your center line right here will start activate, activating that back. If you keep them forward, you'll feel it. Just not in, as much. Just not as much. Versus bringing those arms all the way back into a full extension, you're really going to feel it right here. Woo! 
So hopefully that explained that. Do we have any questions? Anything that you guys are experiencing? Put my hand on my lower back to keep it still at first. Okay, so here's one. Ready? It's the anti-butt jiggler. Legs together. Squeeze your cheeks. Squeeze them. Or sit on it. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Be careful of slouching though when you sit. Be careful of slouching at any time. We're just bringing it down. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry, polykinetics makes you burp. Yoga makes you fart. Pick your pain. Um, but that's a good sign. That means my body's expelling gas that would have normally turned into a fart later. So, yay, anti fart. Um, remedy VCC <laughs> it'll decongest you it'll get the air out of your stomach um, let's see it'll make you feel great tone up your abs am I missing anything am I missing anything might even help you find love I don't know crazy stuff but it can be done from a seated position as well cool one that was a great question thank you so much for asking these Woo. so some comments in this live or filter out. Aw, did someone say the ASS word? Um, I found out that happens. If you are asking about a part of the body and you actually say like ass or something, they'll filter it out automatically, even though it was legit, legit, perfectly innocent question. Or if you say like, I guess, curse words of any sort, I don't know. Um, but I do have moderators out there who do also know um, a little bit about tempo as much as I do. So, woo, I've been teaching as I'm working. I love it, win-win. All right, well, as far as I know, this is about all I have to share for this hour. I will be back again on TikTok at 11 a.m. Central. Yep, so just in a few hours. And um, I'll do a 30-minute lunchtime express workout. Yes, thank you, Linda. I'm so excited. Today is also the full moon. Anybody care about that? Yay, full moon time. So that means everything that you wished upon on the new moon should be coming into fruition for you. Woo! Super exciting. I love doing uh, exercising. I love doing tempo around full moon. I don't know why. Anyway, thank you again all so very much. Again, my name is Michelle Parsons Vargas, and I teach tempo on TikTok three times a day, and I will see you next time.